Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss another example for the log and indices. So before we begin, we have to state down the rules for the right hand side. So number one will be a log form. Okay, log form. I'm going to convert into index form. Now, rules number two will be log m plus log n equals to log mn. Rules number three will be equals to log m minus log n equals to log m over n and finally log m to the power of p we can moving the value of p to the front it become p log m so let us try on the example we are going to uh, simplify the situation and show that it become x square minus 3x minus n cubed so now by referring to this part so my suggestion is i'm going to factorize the terms or expression in the bracket so 1 over 2 log base n so x minus 3 square after i factorize the situation so i have x minus 3 square so equals to 3 minus 1 over 4 log base n x to the power 4 so my first step is to factorize or simplify x square minus 6x plus 9 next I'm going to use the rules number 4 okay I'm going to bring it back so log base n x minus 3 power 2 so it become 1 over 2 equals to 3 minus log base n x to the power 4 power of 1 over 4 I'm applying the rules number 4 okay so now I simplify the situation it become log base n x minus 3 equals to 3 minus log base n x so now I'm going to uh, apply the rules number two rules number two so it will be log base n x minus 3 plus log base n x equals to 3 I'm applying the rules number two so log base n x square minus 3 x or we can say x minus 3 bracket x mn which is equals to 3 so the following step I'm going to apply number 1 okay I'm going to convert the log form into index form so x minus 3 bracket multiply with x equals to n to the power of 3 so I'm going to expand so x square minus 3x minus n cubed which is equals to 0 so by referring to the question we have shown the situation so here we are and thanks for watching